small story. A guy goes to the doctor and says, Doctor, I have a body pain all over. It is excruciating. I think all my bones are fractured. Doctor said, Please put your index finger on the shoulder and tell me, do you have pain? He puts his index finger on the shoulder and shouts, Oh, excruciating. Then he says, Put your index finger on the forearm. Tell me whether you have pain. He puts his index finger on the forearm. Oh, excruciating pain, I can't tolerate. And he says, put your index finger on your chest bones and tell whether you have pain. He says, oh, excruciating pain. And the test continues for next half an hour. Almost every part of the body puts his finger and says, excruciating pain, I cannot tolerate. Doctor just picks up his index finger, does the bandage for it and says, you have a fracture in index finger. <laughs> Only your index finger is fractured. Understand? Nothing else. The relationship between time and consciousness. Please understand, I am describing exactly. Time is the broken bone of consciousness. Time is the broken index finger of consciousness. Wherever time touches, there is going to be pain. Life is not pain. The index finger with which you touch the life is going to be pain. Please understand. Life is not pain. The index finger with which you touch your life is fractured. Real freedom is when your mind stops interfering with your life. Broken finger of the consciousness is time. Understand? You are consciousness. Your broken finger is time. With the time you touch any part of your body, you are going to have pain. And time is nothing but one engram with which you are caught and unable to jump out of it. Time is nothing but a fractured finger of consciousness. Means, even if this fracture is the extension of consciousness only. See, for example, the finger is fractured, but still it is the extension of consciousness. That is why you are able to touch all the parts of the consciousness. and feel the pain. That fractured finger is not separated from consciousness. It is not separated from the body. See, if the time is separated from consciousness, then at least you are free. Time cannot hurt you. If the finger is separated from the hand, at least you are free. After that, it cannot hurt you anymore. The separated finger, once your hand is healed, it doesn't hurt you anymore. But it's a fractured finger. Still verily part of consciousness, but not part of consciousness. <laughs> 